Now to the race for the White House. President Biden appears to have widened his cash advantage over former President Trump. New filings show a big difference in funds between the two candidates. The Biden campaign ended February with $71 million in available cash. Compare that to the $33.5 million in cash held by the Trump campaign. The former president's legal troubles may have a lot to do with this. Trump's legal bills exceeded the money his leadership pact took in last month. And President Biden went on the road this week touting his promises and actions to improve the economy. Our Verify team watched his speech yesterday in Arizona where he celebrated Intel's investment in a new chip manufacturing facility. He said his policies are helping to turn the economy around and Simone D'Alba verified his claims. Growth is strong. Wages are up more than prices. The Republican Party quickly responded with a tweet that he quote flat out lies. To see whether wages are up more than prices, we checked with the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. The president didn't give a time frame, and that's important because it allows each side to be correct. Both the Fed and the BLS track weekly earnings and the Consumer Price Index. If you compare from the start of President Biden's term in office to this February, the average person earns 4.2 percent less when you factor in inflation. But after bottoming out in June of 22, so-called real wages have steadily recovered by about 1 percent. So we can verify wages have risen faster than inflation over the last 20 months, but not compared to the day President Biden moved into the White House. With your Verify, I'm Simone D'Alba.